Welcome, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. Today, I'm gonna teach you and show you how to mix smooth K's and T's and also S's. And sometimes when you are uh, listening to a song, there are just those K's that really sound like they are really smooth. They are not harsh to the ears, sharp to the ears, and there are also those tats, those T's just sound, you know, melodic and sweet to the ears and also those S's just sound great. So how do they do it? I want you to take a listen to this song and take a listen, pay attention to the S's, take a listen to the K's and the T's, how the T's are melodic and sweet. Then after that, I'm going to explain to you uh, what you can do to make your, vo your vocals, uh, your K's to sound T's and S's to sound like that. So let me play this. So the K's, the T's, the S's on the back has really sound so sweet. So what did I do? The first thing that you do is, uh, there are two plugins that I'm going to show you. The first thing that you got to do is go to your um, EQ, add any type of EQ. I recommend GEQ 30. Raise up the 20K area. Just raise the 20K area, not too much, just a little bit is going to go a long way. Like me, I have raised it all the way to 3.8 2 to 3 is okay 2 point something is okay once you have done that the biggest trick is by using a deesa deesa stereo from waves or any type of deesa there are different types of deesa but deesa stereo really works on those frequencies where the k's the t's and the s's are so see what is happening whenever the backers go on the tss and also on the s and also on the k it's not only attenuating or reducing or uh uh, uh working on the s's because most of the time we uh, a lot of producers think uh a d is only works on the s's alone but this time i'm going to show you how you can set it on the t's the k's and the s's i want you to look at this part where it is attenuating just this part you see that it's really like going everywhere like where there is t's the k's it's really like going deep on that just to make sure that the k's and the t's and the s's are smoother and a little bit of that top attenuating of all the entire vocal and i'm also gonna show you how you can use fab filter in case you do not have the isa stereo you can use fab filter uh the isa this one right here to do the same trick that i've done so let me play this So what I did was I set the frequency to 500, uh, uh, 500 and uh, I set the frequency to 5506. This is the frequency where I am attenuating the K's, the T's and the S's. 5506. This is the frequency right here. And my monitor is on audio, of course and my audio is on split and then my threshold is on 32 your threshold determines how much of the dsing you want if you want less you reduce it if you want more you reduce it so that's the work of the threshold but the most important thing is for you to set your frequency to around 55 this one right here 55 uh 5506 you can do the same with um far filter deesa this one let, let me turn off this one you can also do the same with far filter deesa there is this part where you say all round where you set all round uh deesing on this part right here this one right here all round you just turn from single vocal to all round all round means it's gonna be also doing top deesing of the entire vocal for example let me set this 
For now, it's only working on the T's, but you can still take it higher. We said 5,500 somewhere there, so let's take it to 5,504, just like that. And then we are going to set it to all round. So now it's an all round uh, de-essing, but what you have to do when it's too much, you just have now to reduce the threshold. So let's go ahead and take the threshold a little bit back. So our threshold on the ESA stereo was on 32.0. So let's go ahead and set it on 32.0. So 32, 32.0, 32.0 dB, just like this. And so I'm just gonna turn off this one and bring uh, the ESA, Fafiota the ESA right there. So with Fafiota uh, Pro the ESA, you just have to set, make sure you set it where your vocals are not too over the east where you just the vocals just sound the case just sound much better where this line ends that's where you said it okay you can see the k is being attenuated the s's are also being attenuated so this is how you do it and i hope this video has helped you don't forget to like and subscribe we'll see you in the next one <laughs>